Tom, another great day at Caulfield for the stable yesterday with a treble, including Keena Ray winning the listed feature. Yeah, it was really impressive. Uh, we've got a really nice three-year-old sprinter on our hands. And of course, uh, we returned to Caulfield on Saturday for the Caulfield Cup meeting. In race one over 1,400, we've got two runners, starting with Air Apparent, 12 to 1. Yes, yeah, she um, didn't run the mile out the other day, so I think she'll be better suited dropping back to 1,400. And Hello High Water is $4.80 in the first with Ollie aboard. Yes, yeah, she was impressive when her first up, and her last start was good also. I think the 1,400 will suit her also. In race two, the listed Gothic stakes over 1,400, Flying Light, $8. I really like this horse. I thought his last start was excellent. Um, I think he's got to be really respected. And Dawn of Hope looks a filly on the up. She broke her maiden last start and runs in race four over 2,000. She's got a lot of talent. She's only had the two starts, so there's a lot of improvement still in her. She looks like she'll run out a strong 2,000. Um, the Sydney side has probably put a bit of form into the race, um, but it, it'll be really intriguing to see if she can measure up in this class. Two runners in race five over 2,000, starting with Alkashev, barrier 12, 20 to 1. He's a fit horse. He ran really well last start at Flemington, and I'm sure, I'm sure he'll run out a strong 2,000. And the talented Sacred Eye is the outright favourite in the fifth at $4. Yes, yeah, she's taking on the boys. Um, she's a really talented filly on trial for the Oaks. Um, I think she's got a great chance. Race six over 2,000, Dibiani, third emergency in the Caulfield Cup, probably unlikely to get a run. He's $6 in the sixth. I think his form's been excellent. Um, his first two runs, um, he was right around the mark, and even last start in the Underwood, he was only beaten about three and a half lengths. Uh, out to 2,000, um, I think he's got a really good chance. And Velox also runs in the sixth, he's 12 to 1. Yeah, he's a really nice horse. He probably should have won last start at Mooney Valley. He just got caught in on the fence. Um, he's got a big V8 under the hood, I think, and um, I think he's got a good chance with a lightweight. Much between those two on Saturday? There's not a lot between them. I mean, Dibiani's a really talented horse, um, but definitely Velox is a horse on the way up. Zach Purton takes the ride on Stirling City in race seven. He's 40 to 1. Yeah, he's probably got to improve. I think he'd be better suited now that he's out to 1,400. His work has been good. In the eighth, Gregor stays at the 1,400. She's 10 to 1. Yeah, she actually, um, although she ran 10th last start in a group one, uh, she was only beaten two and a half lengths. Uh, so I think against the uh, mares, I think she'll be well suited. The group one Caulfield Cup is the ninth on the program. Rising Romance looks to have drawn ideally in two. She's 11 to one. She's been set for this race. Uh, her lead up uh, runs have been really good. Uh, lightly weighted, good gait. Um, she's definitely going to be in the race. And closing out the day in the 10th, we have two runners over the 1100, starting with a fleet Esprit. She was a nice winner last start at Caulfield. Uh, she really flew here on Monday morning. Her track work's been excellent, uh, so I think she's got a good chance. And Miss Promiscuity loves Caulfield track and distance, drawn a bit wide, but she goes forward. Best of the day on Caulfield Cup, though? I really like Sacred Eye.